Hi everyone, it's Cardiff, and in this week's Sustained Achievement blog, we're gonna talk about four contributors of procrastination. I hope you've been enjoying the last several weeks of the Sustained Achievement blog talking about procrastination. Well, I wanted to create this video for you so you understand what are the four things that contribute to procrastination. But here's what I do know. When we procrastinate, we eventually don't achieve what we want to achieve. We don't accomplish things that perhaps we put on the schedule or maybe we didn't even put it on the schedule. It was only in our minds and it just never, never made it to fruition. So here is the number one way of uh, procrastination that causes it, causes it. Number one, you just don't have time. Now, isn't it interesting we find time for things that we believe will give us value? yet you believe this thing will give you value, yet you choose not to put it on your calendar, and then you procrastinate. So be mindful of the time and choose to put things on your calendar that you want to get done. If it's not meant to get done, then take it off and move forward. Number two, waiting for perfection. Have you found yourself waiting? Just just waiting, just, it's not perfect yet. It, it's, I don't have everything put together. And so we wait. And we, we, we do something, maybe we do a little bit more, but it's just not perfect. So we, let's, not, let's not bring it out in the marketplace. Let's not launch it. Let's not, let's not do that thing that I wanted to do. Waiting for the perfect, Time? When is the perfect time? Get off the couch and move forward. Put it out there. Here's one thing I do know. Version 1.0 is better than version 0.0. The third contributor to procrastination. You haven't associated an intrinsic value or extrinsic value. And here's what I'm talking about. Intrinsic, something that is value to you inside of you. It's gonna bring more happiness, more joy, more peace, whatever that is for you. Intrinsic, extrinsic, something on the outward. It could be financial success if you achieve this. It could be um, more connectivity and more events with your family if you do certain things. But see, there needs to be an intrinsic value and extrinsic value associated on something that you want to achieve. And the last contributor of procrastination is you're afraid to fail. Being afraid to fail doesn't feel very good. Yet we have associated with this stigma of failure as I'm not good enough. I'm here to tell you, yes, you are. You are good enough and you can achieve and you can't allow that I don't want to fail mentality to get in your way of moving forward to your goal. If we are better equipped to understand the four reasons of procrastination, if we understand what those four things are, those are the roadblocks. Now we can go around those roadblocks so you can maintain momentum and achieve. Well, I hope you found some value out of that. If you have, please share it so people are aware of these four things. I know common sense is an always common practice. Brendan Bouchard, he always states that, and that is so true. Well, I hope you gain some value from this. I look to see you back here again next week on the Sustained Achievement Blog. Until next week, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.